What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kev on Stage, and it's time for Dear Kev on Stage, where you send questions and I give advice about relationship, life, parenthood, children, whatever. Um, and today's question is about mental health in the black community, which is the first time I've ever gotten asked about that, and that's why I'm making this video. And it goes like this. I'm going to shorten it because it's, it's rather long. Dear Kev, I need some advice. I have a cousin that is suffering from a mental illness and has been for a while now. Every day is a serious struggle. She has no peace of mind. Sometimes she is fine, but other times she can't do simple day-to-day -day activities like walk, talk, brush her hair, write, and completing a thought. She has tried to commit suicide before. I personally think that the absence of her father growing up had a lot to do with it. She's been trying to fill this void, which led to different things that put her in the position she's in today. For whatever reason, dealing with mental illness in the black community is like taboo or something. We don't talk about it. We often try to pray it away and say God will take care of it. I have faith in God and all, but something else needs to be done in the meantime. I am watching my 23-year-old cousin who has so much potential stress herself out and fade away in front of me, and it's killing me. I feel so helpless. I totally agree with you. Um, the black community doesn't really have a strong handle on mental illness. I don't know why that is. I agree with you um, that the church... Um, often doesn't have a, a, a way to handle it. And I don't necessarily want to blame the church. You know, a lot of times we blame the church, but I mean, the church is really just people who are working in ministry, you know? So if the pastor um, has no, um, you know, has no training in mental health, then it's not really fair for him to, for us to expect him to have, you know, the ability to diagnose this. You know, a lot of times people go to the pastor and they want him to diagnose what's wrong with their life. And if he's not a trained professional in that area, then, you know, all he might know how to do is pray. And that might be his attempt. Now, and um, as far as your point that it being taboo, totally, it totally is. We don't really talk about it. You know, I don't really, I can't think of many people, you know, a lot of pastors don't, um, or I don't, I can't think of a lot of times where I've heard even the subject brought up, you know, at all, you know, and I don't know, uh, pastors are saying, you know, after prayer, go seek, you know, legit counseling or or, or a trained doctor or things like that. But um, I would recommend seeking um, mental mental help. I think um, uh, a lot of times we have no problem if you are physically sick, you know, in the black community, if you're physically sick, going to a doctor. But if there's something, you know, mentally wrong, I don't even think we can, like, adequately diagnose, you know, diagnose something that might be mental, you know, I don't think we even think, am I depressed? Could I be depressed? You know what I mean? Um, uh, like I've said in previous videos, I've had suicidal thoughts, but I don't think I'd ever have the courage to go see a doctor. Maybe that's because I'm a man, maybe because I think I can handle it. But uh, I, I totally agree with you. And, and my advice to you would be to help guide her through the process of seeking out a, a mental health professional because suicide is a real, um, it's a real thing. And a lot of times it begins with, you know, depression. I don't know how many times, but a lot of times it begins with depression and feelings of hopelessness and things like that. And I feel like, um, I do feel like there can be some spiritual things there too. You know, I feel like um, people of God are, you know, the devil's whole game plan is to take you out of the kingdom. And if it can be, through uh, thoughts of suicide, then, uh, you know, then that's that's one way. So uh, I believe that. And I also believe you you can probably benefit from seeking mental health and counseling. So that would be my advice, to uh, um, be her support system, continue to pray for her, and continue to guide her and walk her through seeing a, a professional in, in hopes that, you know, she can either talk it out um, or, or one other, I don't know really how they you know, treat it. Sometimes it's medical, sometimes it's with medicine, sometimes it's with therapy um, and other things. So hopefully that the right person will, will come along and, 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 and help to, I don't know, if, I, I don't want to use the word cure, but help to, um, I don't really know the right word I'm looking for. I don't know if you can be cured from mental illness, but, um, have more better days than bad ones. I can't think of any word, forgive me, but um, if you have questions for me, email, or actually, on my website, there's a, a way to submit them. That's much easier for me. So go on KevOnStage.com, there's a way for you to submit them. And if I haven't talked about it before, there's a very big chance I will. Boy, Kev on Stage, see you tomorrow. What's up,
everybody is here on stage Come subscribe to my YouTube page Don't you be bitter Just follow me on Twitter What's up everybody is Kev on stage Come subscribe to my YouTube page Don't you be bitter